Staff of HSP and Sports. I'm up here in the first time in high school, high school of the Lions. And uh, we're both in North Florida. Uh, when he, uh, yep, when he didn't get the extra point, but I'm here with Spencer Racine. Outstanding cornerback, uh, Spencer. Cornerback safety. Okay, cornerback safety. Outstanding off the radar. Had some great plays tonight. I was hoping you were going to bring one to the house to me, but that's okay. After last week's game, what did you guys, what were your concerns about getting ready for this week? Um, we just had to focus. We couldn't let a loss get to us. We just had to take it to the next week. You had to stay focused from day one. You start winning practice. When you start winning the game, they practice. So we had to practice hard, listen to our coaches, listen to every little thing, and we ended up getting the dub. Well, you say you got it done, you sure did. You got 20 points scored on you last week, slow start. You got no points scored on you this week. What do you attribute that to? Um, just great coaching, telling us how just how to do everything right. Just everybody has to do their job. No one has to have an ego. No one, no one think about making. No one got to think about making plays. You just got to focus on everybody doing their own job, and it just it'll be easy to just like that. Spencer's a speedster. Great point average. Point nine. Okay, he's a qualifier coaches and a lot of speed. And I'll tell you right now, I look forward to a lot of things from Spencer this, this year. Thanks, Spencer, for talking to me. We've got athletes. And actually, you know, I forgot to say about Spencer and uh, this is going to sound HSP and sports, but we've got four impact players. And that's important for me to let you all know that Spencer is one of the four impact players, number one. And the impact players were chosen by Coach Bass and Coach. Now, on the other hand, the reason we're here today is because you all may notice or recognize this young man, Troy Jaffe. Yes, he was interviewed at the 2017 Dolphins Media Day. More importantly than that, Troy is stealth rated. This is the number six stealth rated student athlete in the nation, which is off the charts, Troy. And I want to congratulate you on that. Tell the folks how you got to be number six in the country and I know why but let them know why. It all starts in the classroom. You gotta go out into the classroom and treat it just like a game. You gotta give it your 110%. Grades are more important than football, football secondary. Transcripts will beat out athletic ability, excuse me, any day of the week. And that's a famous line from uh, Coach Harris to Booker T. Washington. So tonight, I can ask Spencer, what was the difference last week? They scored 20 points on you this week. They didn't score any. By the way, last week, you were the one that was involved in picking the ball off and laid it down so the offense could get in there. What's the difference in this week's and last week? Uh, this week, our defensive line played phenomenal. Todd Winterspoon, Chris Dasher, Tanner Barrett, every single guy who lined up on the defensive line played their tails off tonight, and that's the reason why we were able to shut them out. Okay, it's a non-district game. You guys are getting warmed up. You got a district game coming up this week, right? Yes, sir. Okay, you're going to be oh, ready. No, not this week. We play Carmen Newman next week, then we play Westbrook. That's a good shooting. Okay. We're looking forward to watching you. We're looking forward to see you excel. I know you're on the radar now. Um, just so you all, this is after you're going to see the, the videos. You're all over the place. I zoomed into you a lot of times to get you. You're a manhunter, and you're a good, you're a good student athlete, and I congratulate you on all your accomplishments. Thank you, sir. Here live out here after the game, big victory for the, uh, the Lions. This is Glenn Stout, HSPN Sports. This is the, one of the third student athletes that Coach Baz has chosen as an impact player. This is the quarterback, the, uh, the, cap, the captain quarterback, the, the man, the CEO of the offense. Well, and also we're going to do some as James Machione said it right. James, how did you think you did tonight? Uh, I thought I had a pretty good game. Um, I wish I could have ran the ball a little bit more. They didn't give me a chance to. Uh, the passing game was all right for the most part. Well, last week you guys got goose egg. Well, you didn't goose egg. You got a ball that uh, Troy turned over for you. You got it inside the five, and you guys did a little running play. What was the difference in last week and this week on the offensive side of the ball? Uh, the line, line held it down for the most part. Uh, we made our reads. Uh, the receivers came to play. And I don't think we had a lot of drops today, but we had many. Um, I was confident being in the pocket, and uh, we just went to handle business. Well, you got one more game before you got a district game. Troy told me you guys are preparing for that. Um, let the people out there know your size, your GPA, something about the student side of the athlete. Um, I'm six foot tall, uh, weigh 190. I have a 3.3, 3.4 GPA. And, um, 
I go to school every day. My parents make me stop. That's a good thing to be in school every day. <laughs> Listen, I know a young man that was about the same size as you that uh, is a relative of mine, my son, that played at the next level and he was about the same size as you. Um, did you say 200 pounds? 190. 190, okay. But anyways, James, it's nice to meet you. Another impact player, a special player here at Olympic Heights and uh, more importantly, a student athlete out there. And thanks for taking this interview. Thank you. We're back with the fourth impact player. Now, I can tell you that I feel like I saved the best for last. Why? Because Chris Dasher here was pancaking quarterbacks all night. And um, you probably didn't catch some of the ref, but I got all the good hits. And you've already seen it. Chris, how do you feel tonight? How do you play? Uh, I feel like I just do better. Uh, I missed some uh, sacks in the game, but I made up for it. Uh, just got to make up for those plays, you know? Well, you did well. You know, what was it that got you just so motivated? You guys got scored on 20 points last week. I know that's a motivation. Tonight, you held them to a blue shot. Well, uh, our defense came together. We did our assignments. Everything went well. And we went 20 and shut them down. Well, let me ask you a question. You went 20 points the other way. What was the difference in practice this week that made that happen on the field? Uh, intense. Really intense. Tackling drills, assignment drills, everything. Uh, whole team just made up for it. I talked to Coach Baz at the 2017 Miami Dolphin Media Day, and he said you guys are practicing for a 15-week schedule. Is that true? Yes, sir. We're going all the way. And you're going for that ring. Well, it's great to finally meet you, our fourth impact player at Olympic Heights, uh, the Lions. And uh, watch this young man. Coaches, keep an eye on him. Oh, GPA. 3.8. 3.8. Yes, that is a qualified crusher that's worth a lot of money. Chris, thank you. Thank you so much. Last but not least, the man that made it all happen, you recognize him as well, Coach Baz. I got to speak to him at uh, the Dolphins Media Day. Articulate, got all the hits in the world, the videos went crazy, said it was all family. Coach, tell me what the difference is from last week to this week. It flipped 20 points one way last week, 20 points on your favor this week. Goose egg, basically seven points the other way, and goose egg this week. Um, yes, sir. We took it. Then we took it back to basics. We went back to um, the first day of camp. And we went back to grinding and effort and grit. I think last week we didn't have much effort and grit, but this week we, we brought the energy. Defense was flying around, making plays. And uh, offense obviously got it going late, and we was able to punch in some points you know, late in the um, game. So, what are some of the things that you saw tonight that made you feel good about the week at practice? I think everything that we talked about and we went over this week of practice transitioned to the field. Um, the energy, we had the energy on the sideline as well as in the field, but we came out focused. We, we talked about being focused. I, I just felt like we wasn't focused last week against Boynton, but today we came out focused. We was locked in for pregame meal. I didn't hear, you could hear a pin drop during pregame meal, and I knew those guys were locked in. It was going to come out and give them a big effort, and we was going to win this ball game. So you talk about focus. What was it that you know, you had a non-district game last week? You got a non-district game this week. You got another warm-up for next week. What in the world was it you think that was the lack of focus was coming from? I think last week um, everyone was um, happy and excited about the John I. Leonard win, the 46-11 win, and we didn't lock in Boynton and didn't take Boynton that serious, but. Boynton hit us in the mouth right away, and we had to bounce back, and we never got our offense going, and defense was all over the place. But I think today we was focused, and everyone did their job. At the end of the day, everyone did their job and made their assignments, and that's the only thing we can ask for. Well, I tell you what, you picked the you picked the right impact players, and and I focused in on them, and we got some great footage. Yes, I can't sir. wait to get it. I got a lot to cut up. I can't wait to get it out there and yes, get sir. the coaches that are going to see it. But some fine gentlemen, great GPA, student athletes, very well articulate. You've been working on these guys with that stuff. Um, that's part of our program. We have an academic advisor and um, Amber. Haber, Ms. Haber is a volleyball coach here. She works with these guys. We have weekly progress reports that have been going on the first week of school. Good. And we stay on top of them academically because the first thing these college coaches ask for is how's their grades. Yep. You know, then they watch the film. Hey, coach, how's their grades? Are they going to be able to get in our university or our college? And most of the guys on the team, we have a 3.1 average on the football team. Wow. And we pride ourselves in our academics first. We're A school. And that's one thing we put out there, that academics come first.
That's fantastic. All the stuff is lined up in the right place. The priorities are right. You got a good coach, your staff on the sideline. It was great. I'm not going to have to do any editing because there's no foul language. I mean, it's amazing That's to be it. out here. It's my first time at Olympic Heights, That's it. you know, and it was great to meet you and it was great to see Troy again. And I look forward to doing more things with your program and your student athletes to get them excelled to play at the next program and beyond. Yes, sir. Again, um, Glenn, we appreciate you taking the time out and coming out and being a part of our program. And you're more than welcome to come back to Olympic Heights however many times you want to. Thank you, Coach Bass. Thank you.